We are privileged to have a semester today uh, for a STEM outreach uh, program. The teaching of science and performance in the science is uh, still uh, quite wanting and we've been looking at uh, ways and means of improving uh, uh, science performance because you know the role that science plays in today's uh, world. So when we got this communication uh, from Semester, we were delighted because uh, the truth be told, with the kind of facilities that we have, uh, most of the time we teach uh, science in theory. We are happy that Semester came today, exposed the girls to many of these uh, equipment and uh, the girls were very receptive and uh, I think they have learnt a lot and it was quite enriching and even when I told them in the morning that uh, we have um, semester coming and you know semester? Yes, when you hear semester, what is it? Science, maths, what can you say about it? And they were very excited and looking forward to it and even when um, semester told us they were only coming at break, I mean the uh, break time, they did not want to interfere with the uh, our lessons, I looked at it like, uh, I mean, we would give them a whole day because it's part and parcel of uh, teaching and learning. So we made sure that uh, almost all the students uh, took part in this uh, uh, program. And uh, apart from even science, other teachers would come. We have seen binoculars, we want our students to use the binoculars. I don't know what it is that we use to check the eclipse. I saw, I'm not a science teacher, so you excuse me. I also used it, we, we looked at the sun, and uh, we were not able to see the sun with a visible eye, but when we checked, we saw it. So I, it was a very enriching and very fruitful experience for all of us. And not uh, all the teachers you see, they are science. Mm -hmm. I'm not science myself, but uh, you know, there was the interest. Today has been an enjoyable day for me. I've learned a lot of things, the new things. Uh, like in mathematics, there is this concept that I, that I found it difficult to understand, but through the demonstration, I got to understand them. And yeah, the chemistry experiments, I really enjoyed observing the, when we were preparing oxygen gas. My experience when I was there, it really taught me a lot, mostly physics and mathematics. Today I've learned the benefits of doing science, having a positive attitude towards science, I've learned organic science, I've learned how to use things in the environment to improve our day-to-day -day life. Students mostly, um, they have a negative attitude towards science, they say it's hard, it's only for those people who are clever, but today it has been proven wrong. Uh, to say the truth, my teachers usually tell me science is everything, like we live science, we do science. The experiment that I have been taught right now, I found it much more easier and I have understood. So when it comes in exam, I will be ready to do it and I'm sure I will pass. I was telling them, you know, science, we need to do something. Yeah, so you couldn't have come at a better time. And you can see sincerely, the, the science teachers put in a lot of effort. They really do. So I think also with the coming of semester, even the change of attitude yeah. will be evident. I believe Semester has made our day yeah. and uh, made our week and we are looking forward to a partnership with uh, uh, Semester, you know, on a short term, mid term and even long term. Yeah. And uh, I believe it's not too late even to start with our candidate. Yeah. And even for our teachers, you know, we would have uh, an initial meeting with Semester then we look at various areas of need. Eh? Yeah. And uh, I, I think it's a step at a time but your coming here will make all the difference. It has been a very good exchange from Semestia. More so in the area of uh, practicals. All of those uh, experiments that were done, they were working, and the students were very happy. They could uh, now see practically how energy transformation takes place, they could now see practically how charges concentrate on, uh, on uh, spherical objects, how they concentrate on uh, the sharp objects, how the discharging takes place, and uh, the dome, the electrostatic dome, you are able to see it practically. So it was quite engaging. And we are very grateful 
it's actually a good experience teaching girls math and physics. And I am happy for Samastea visiting our school today. It's been a good experience and I I hope for more and more experience for these girls to go for STEM. One of the things that has really inspired me is about the the magnetic field when you are studying the Maya when you look at the aperture that you get about the mag magnetic uh, study of magnetic field and I was so so happy. We are going to make more of that so that we can actually uh, study magnetic field in three dimensions. I can see the magnetic field moving around. I can see that the girls have actually changed their attitude and uh, they always come to me seeking for advice on how to improve and I have said that ever since I came to the school. I came to this school actually last year and uh, when I came I found only 28 from fours doing physics then and then this year we have 52. I encourage them to take physics when they want to and I actually am happy of them and I hope more and more girls will take physics. I love the way Sebastia is uh, putting science into practice. Uh, from the philosophy of John Dewey, uh, pragmatism saying that uh, learning by doing is very important. So I also love the analogy on the explanation of some concepts in uh, physics, more so in the explanation of surface tension, uh, explanation of electrostatic force, uh, explanation of uh, we can talk about the Bernoulli's principle, it's also been captured well, and we can see how velocity causes a low pressure zone, making an object to be attracted to the point where there is low pressure. On the part of chemistry, I love um, the models, how they have been used in explanation of uh, the double bond and single bonds, and uh, it has been a very interactive session, and uh, the students love it. I uh, also love the part of uh, chemistry in the explanation of electrolysis, uh, using of the graphite rods and the ionized water. Uh, I've also seen uh, uh, the use concept explaining a uh, production of oxygen by using uh, uh, the hydrogen peroxide and soap. That, that in fact that was so interesting the students really enjoyed it I love the way Semestia is uh, unpacking science to reality most of sciences require a lot of practical so if it can be done that way then I see uh, a lot of improvement in the field of science and the mathematics which Semestia is concerned about in Africa through the concepts that I've seen and like they have brought it to reality so in class I can easily apply them. It has changed my attitude towards sciences and I'm going to put more effort in sciences. I'm going to study sciences and I'll try doing it practically outside. What I have learned today is you can use different methods of preparing oxygen gas. I would like to encourage my fellow girls to not fear. They should not be discouraged when doing mathematics or science because it's something around us. We see it all day. We do it, but the thing is that we do not understand it. So we should stop fearing and encourage ourselves to continue from revising and practicing. To be honest, it just matters with your determination. If you are determined to do it um, and you give it your you all, you, it's not hard. I want to encourage those who think that doing math or science, being a lady is hard. It's not actually. Most women say what a man can do, a woman can do better. So if you think you can't do it, just try it and definitely you will get it. We have had a lot of experience, we have had fun, we have learned a lot of things. We are just saying things. Thank you for visiting our school. Indeed, you have helped me to understand much more, even in biology, in physics, I really appreciate.